and it says step three of three. Okay, so now it's installed, and here it gives me the URL. You might not be able to see it quite so well here, but it's forward slash blog, and then it's got a link to go to the admin. So let me click on that. And it takes me to an admin screen, and now I just if you look up here okay so it takes me to an admin screen so I type in Brian and remember my password was Brian also and I want to log in okay so from in here I can go to this tab and it's how to write a blog entry and you just give a title and you write the post and then you can save it you can publish it you can you're going to have to play with these features because I'm not going to explain all of them in here. Manage the pages, the categories, the comments. You can add categories for your blog. It has some populated stuff in here, so spend some time walking through the options and setting it up uh, to your liking. Under links, presentation. Uh, in here there are some templates that you can change your blog Let's just go to plutoniummlm.com forward slash blog. So that's the admin section. But now here's where what the blog is going to look like. So now you can see we're at plutoniummlm.com forward slash blog. And it gives you this cheesy, hello world, welcome to WordPress. This is your first post. So you can make new posts. There's a sample comment in there. Hi, this is a comment. you got to play with it. Uh, you go back to the blog homepage. Just hit back. And there's some categories and stuff over here. You actually have to go into the templates and tweak this a bit to get rid of some of this stuff. It's all within the templates. You just have to look around and customize it. Get You can get rid of this blog role, which I did. Meta. You can change these names. These There's categories and there's, there's other things you can change in the templates in there. So you have to configure it a bit. Play around in the admin section. If you know a little HTML hand coding, this is another reason why you need HTML hand coding. You see these templates over here. You got to find the things that you don't like and change them in here. And one other thing, let me go back to the blog. Just another little trick here is check this out. This is an image, this blue circle here. Okay, it's. Check this out. This is a nice little trick. This blue rounded off rectangle is an image. So if I right click on that image and go to properties Okay, so just look at this. See this blue rounded off rectangle? That's an image. And you just go in and play with the templates and stuff, and you can actually get that image, and you can take it into an image editor, and you can make your own banner and replace it. Just save the new image with the same name as this current blue image, only it'll be your banner. And then you can just go in and get rid of this plutoniummlm.com uh, writing here. And that's how I did it at Internet Profit Mentor. You can just go to internetprofitmentor.com. Let me go to the blog. And you'll see what I did. Was I just found that image and I just made my own version of it. And it has the same name in the folder. It's the same as that blue thing was. Same size, but it's just a different image. So you can customize this blog pretty nicely. Uh, you just have to play with the templates and take you a little bit of time and to figure it out, but you'll have a nicer looking blog as a result. So if you have a cPanel hosting account, you can now set up a blog very easily within just a few minutes, 
and then spend some time to go in and configure the blog and do some stuff in there with it and it's a great tool to use for your marketing there's a link below this video where you can download an interview that I did with a man named Jason Kane and he's a blog expert so if you want to know how to implement a blog for marketing you want to listen to that interview below and I've also included a link for you to get your own hosting account with cPanel from a reputable hosting company so visit those links below and you'll be able to get everything you need to set up your own blog on your website